and start to read the Bible. The same one who burns the Bible today is eager to read what is there in this book. And he was trying to read. But when he thinks he didn't understand when he was reading. So he said, I can go to the pastor, I go back to the pastor and ask the pastor to explain to me what I was reading because I didn't understand. So the next day he went to the pastor and told the pastor, Pastor, I bought this whole Bible from a lefty man. I was reading but I can't understand what is not mentioned here. And the pastor said, we do one thing more. Every Sunday we have a church service, just like our Korean Baptist church, we be here. We have a church service where I teach from the word of God so you can understand. So why don't we come on Sunday and join us? So Moon said, right, I can do that. So the next Sunday, Moon came and sat right in the last room of the church. The worship started, the song and worship started, then the pastor got to preach. Our pastor spoke, and in the end, the pastor gave a word to God. He said, Those who need prayer, please come in time to see what they are doing. And also, those who, who feel the sin in your heart, please come. We pray for you. God forgive you. So, many, many people from the congregation stood up and came to the front for them to go prayer. And one was sitting right at the last row, slowly got up, with tears in his eyes. He was crying like a baby. He was crying and he was walking down the aisle of the water. And then he met the pastor praying the sinner's prayer. And that's where Moon accepted the God who he rejected us. He accepted that. To cut a long story short, Moon went back home. And after two or three days of that very next week, he saw his son sitting on the bed. The son who was very, very almost, he was sitting now and praying. And after two or three more days, he saw, by the end of the week, he saw the child on the floor, walking around. He knew something had happened. So, he took the child to the hospital, again, the doctor, and he said, let me check out my son. The doctor was very shocked, because he knew the condition of the child, and he knew something had happened, supernatural. So, no one said, Please check my son. I, I see your son has come so well. I, what happened? Did you take this, your son to another doctor? More to the next five on his face? So what he said, yes. I took my son to the doctor of all doctors, the great physician to Jesus Christ. He healed my son. The doctor, the doctor was there and said, something supernatural has happened. So, to cut a long story short, today, Mohan, the same Mohan who won the Bible in school days, he is right now known as Reverend Dr. Kishina. He's a pastor of one of the largest churches in South India. He has a church which has attendance on Sunday, 45,000 plus attending his church. And all is still moving. The numbers are increasing year by year, and uh, now they have moved into a new facility, a mini, mini stadium, all is working tremendous. My point is, where did it all start? The leading brothers thought it important to go and distribute the New Testament to the students. That's where it started. What if the leading brothers did not go to the school that day? We would have missed an opportunity of Pastor Moore, who he is right now. Right? Well, there were sisters from the village by We go to places where the church is unable to go. We are the armies many of the church. We go to schools, colleges, hospitals, nursing homes. We go to jail. We go uh, to the armed forces. And now recently we have uh, stalls in Mela, local data. This is the, in the month of uh, February. We had a, you all came in Hawaii, in Kolkata, we have a very, uh, very big book fair called the Kolkata International Book Fair. We have a stall there every year. This year we distributed over one lakh new 
Testaments, yet in that one open was God opened the door. So when God opened the door, the Indians had lost it to do our distribution with prayer. If you if you read Isaiah 55, verse 11, it says, The word that goes to my mouth will not return to me void. It shall accomplish the purpose which I sent it out to. That's the Lord's spirit. And we are just following the Lord's command. Remember Jesus said, the last command to disciples, go into the world of earth and preach the gospel. That's what the ministry is doing. We have a camp in Veramu and uh, we are doing distribution in Veramu and also Veramu. And this, this, uh, this year, our camp officials have said they are targeting one lakh distribution in and around Veramu. So, dear church, three requests I'd like to pray before you before I end. Please pray to the Indians. Thank you for your prayer. Please continue. Second, Please support us financially in your love offering because we print these scriptures but we distribute freely. Each copy of this, this Bible, New Testament, was copy of these. And in a year, we distribute over 1.3 crores in India. So you know, the cost you know, right? So we thank you for your support in the previous year and we know that you can to support us with your love offering so we can print more Bibles and distribute. More people. Third, that's very important also. We invite on the permission of our pastor and our secretary man and committee. We invite you to join the Indian ministry. It's a very simple process. Brothers, if you are single or married, you are a professional or you're a businessman, you can join the ministry with your wife if you're married. This is a ministry where you give me a platform where you will be representing your church on an international platform. We have a reading ministry in 200 countries. We print these new testaments in 109 languages of the world. And in India, 25 languages we print this, including English. So that is the ministry of Indians. And we know this is God, even though it's signed by three people, three men in America, but we know this vision was given by God to these three men. And that has started a worldwide movement. So I thank you once again on behalf of our Indian brothers who are here. And uh, we say, God bless you. God bless this church. May the years to come, the church grow and have many more lost souls come into this church for this area. Thank you once again. God bless you. Thank you, sir.